My chili pepper plants are fully potted up. They're in their final positions and we already are seeing some chili peppers coming through on some of the plants. Let's go and take a look around the greenhouses and see how they're doing and we'll take a look around at some of the other things that are happening around the homestead. Let's start off in Little Chump. Now, if you watch my live streams first Sunday of every month, then you'll know why it's called Little Chump. Had a little bit of a competition with my patrons and YouTube members, and they got to name both of my greenhouses and also my grow shed. Let's keep the warmth in here. It's actually pretty chilly outside. Excuse the pun. But uh, it's good to keep the temperatures up in here. In here, it's around 30 degrees, 32 degrees Celsius. Outside, we're looking at about 14 degrees Celsius, so not too great, but plants are loving this. We've had quite a bit of growth since we put them into the greenhouses and potted them up. Uh, they're still establishing their roots, so they're not growing as quickly as they will do in probably a month's time. But they're still looking healthy, and I'm happy with the progress. We can have a look and see, well, there's a few plants here that have some chilies coming through. Uh, <laughs> quite a lot in this plant. What is this? So this is a cashmere merch. Actually, yeah, I've got a couple of these cashmere merchers that uh, are doing really well. By the way, when you see me tapping my phone on these white tags on my plants, Basically, I'm reading an NFC tag that identifies that plant, and I have an application called seedzio.com, which is free to use. You can go sign up today, and you can track your plants, see what other people are doing, how they're growing. Uh, you know, if you're growing a cashmere merch and you want to compare it to mine, you can do that. It's all on the app. Uh, go check it out. I have made a few videos, and I'll put a playlist down below that'll show you how to use it. It's really not difficult to use. There's nothing too technical. I've done all the technical stuff on the back end, but for you as an end user, easy to use. And there's some very cool functionality coming in the very near future. Anyway, let's get back to looking at these beautiful plants. So the Kashmiri Merch is a capsicum anum, and it's a really quick grower. It's amazing. I have loads of pods coming through on, well, pretty much all of them. So early season plant, which is lovely. And uh, yeah, these are gonna ripen up pretty quick. Some lovely sized ones here as well. And the Kashmiri Merch is actually a really good chili for uh, ground up dry spices and uh, has a really great flavor. So we'll definitely be doing some sauces and some spice mixes in some future videos. But yeah, happy with those. Let's take a look around. There's some more pods coming through over here. Which one is this? This is number 170. This really just helps me very quickly get some information. So this is a Frigatello. It is also a Capsicum Anum. And yeah, we can see there coming through. It's a sweet pepper, so no spice, but it'll be very tasty. So I've got a few sweet peppers. Uh, let me just talk a little bit about how I've organized things. So first things first, I need to disable the fan. It's part of my automation has just kicked in. So it doesn't make too much noise. We'll plug that back in a bit later. You can see that I've kind of named each section of the greenhouse. I've got a little tag here. So L2, that means left staging two. Uh, we've got L1 down the end here. So this is left staging one and R1, R2. Uh, there's quite a few more <laughs> locations over there in the large greenhouse. Having the plants all in their specific categories and being able to find them in the sections within the greenhouse makes life so much easier, especially when I'm doing these update videos. I can get to a plant very quickly uh, when I'm doing a live stream inside the greenhouses, which I have got planned. Uh, if you have a question about a specific variety, I can quickly look it up on Seedzio and I can find exactly where it is inside my greenhouses. I'm growing about 80 or 90 varieties of chilies this year and uh, about, well, more than 300 plants. So it really helps me to categorize and organize. The other very cool thing is I have things sectioned off. So all my chili chump seed kit plants, they're in a corner back in the large greenhouse, so big chump, and we will have a look at that in just a little while. But if I wanna do an update, they're all together in one place, and it makes it very easy for me to show you the progress. And you can compare the progress of your chili chump seed kit to mine. Anyway, let's get back to looking at these chilies and uh, then we'll head out to the Big Chump greenhouse in just a little while. So these here, you can see the jalapenos coming through. And 
Ideally, I wouldn't want chilies at this stage. The plants are just too small. I want them to grow bigger. But like you would have seen in my previous update video, I wasn't able to pot up when I ideally wanted to because I was away on holiday and I had to wait probably two weeks longer than I would have liked to. And that causes the plant to fruit because the roots kind of think, well, we've reached the uh, side of our pot and might as well start putting out some flowers and some chilies. But it doesn't matter. These will still grow. Uh, we've already had, I mean, this has doubled in size since I planted it. This here is a jalapeno, which type? Uh, well, jalapeno early. So, well, that kind of makes sense in that they're throwing out chilies. So we can see some jalapenos coming through on this. Uh, so we've got quite a few jalapeno earlies. Uh, there's about six or so of them. And I can't wait to eat some of them on the barbecue, on the braai. It's going to taste amazing. Uh, this one here is not a jalapeno early. It is a jalapeno talika. And uh, yeah, it's also got some chilies coming through. Be interesting to compare some of these different ones. It's getting pretty warm in here. I am sweating, but it's still pretty chilly out there. So I'm not taking my jacket off just yet. Uh, the wind is absolutely howling. But let's go check out a big chump. It's pretty impressive in there and I'm excited to show it to you. We've tried to make the most of the space inside big chump because there is a lot of it. It's a big old greenhouse, 20 foot by 30 foot. And I think we've done pretty well. Uh, got quite a few more plants in here than I thought I might do. And uh, yeah, they're doing really well. Let's take a look around and see how we're doing. We'll, we'll start off with the chili chump seed kit and uh, be interesting to see how yours are progressing in comparison to my ones. And we'll go straight to one that I'm quite impressed with. It's the Sugar Rush Stripey. We already have a pod coming through there. Uh, it's nowhere near ripe, but it's starting out. And uh, I've got a few more coming through there as well. A lot of flowers, but this plant's doing well. Just need it to grow bigger, and it will do now that it's in its final pot. I think there's another, is this a stripey? No, that's a bishop's crown. I think this one over here is another stripey. Yeah, that's a sugar rush stripey. And uh, that the start of a couple pods. So you see that over there. And one over here as well. That's pollinated. Uh, that's interesting. These leaves, small leaves. Uh, which one is this? Spanish giant. I think that there's a Spanish giant as well as this. And this Spanish giant has some pods coming through. So, yeah, it's also very keen to grow, but this needs to also get much bigger. So I'm tempted to actually take these pods off which I might do a little bit later, just so we can keep the growth going for the actual plant, the foliage, the green growth, get this to be a bigger plant. Over here we have a bird's eye baby, and isn't that just adorable? <laughs> Such a tiny little plant, but it's, it's got a real nice aesthetic. I think this one here, it looks even nicer. As a house plant, this would be incredible, I think. And uh, as a bonchi, I think it's a good potential for a bonchi too very cute little plant and uh, lots of pods coming through be interesting to see how those taste what sort of spice and flavor they have over here I think this is a big black mama and we have got some flowers coming through I will definitely be plucking these flowers off just to keep the growth going but we can see here this is just keen to grow lots of internodal growth so you can see that uh, in between where the leaves are and the stem some more coming out and yeah it's looking gorgeous but lots of new growth over there as well so yeah that'll be a lovely plant i'm sure and uh, yeah chili chum seed kits are doing very nicely how are yours progressing uh, do you have any fruit on yours yet you'll notice this is not a chili plant this here is actually one of my african marigolds this is to help with pest control I uh, actually potted it up yesterday. I've grown a whole bunch of them. And uh, that's going to help attract some hoverfly, which eat aphids like crazy. And uh, yeah, it's, it's also a pretty little plant. But I have these dotted around the greenhouse. 
uh, in both greenhouses actually, and I have some growing outside too. If you grow roses, this is also a fantastic companion plant. Over here we've sectioned off some of my purple flowering plants, and uh, of course we've got some purple pods. I think this one here is my Buna Malata, which are always an early grower, uh, early pods. Let's have a look here. Yeah, that is a Buna Malata, and yeah, we can see plenty of chilies coming through. We've got another one back there. Uh, this is a different one, even though it's purple. It's not a Buna Malata. This one is a Chinese five color. And uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see the other four colors because at the moment we just got some purple. Uh, although, that's interesting. Got something orange down there. That's a little unique. Huh, maybe that's what it ripens to. We'll see, we'll just keep track of that over time. I will take photos of this and put it up on Seedsio. So if you want to follow, you can. This is plant number 13 of mine. This plant is pretty impressive. If you want a big plant that grows very quickly and has pods early in the season, then this is definitely one you want to grow. Uh, I don't know if you can really tell, but I mean, that's quite a bit higher. I've had to stake it down a little bit because it was just growing so quickly. But this here is Bert the Chili, and I uh, got that from Hippie Seed Company. Go check them out. Uh, great, great folks over at Hippie Seed Company, and uh, they have some good seeds as well. Never had a problem with them. But yeah, the Bert the Chili is a lovely, lovely plant. I'm going to probably have to move it somewhere else because it's going to get too tall for this side of the greenhouse. Might need to put it on the floor. We'll see how that goes. Uh, like I mentioned on the uh, small chump greenhouse you can see that I've written also the different locations so that's right side staging two that's right side staging three and then right side staging four over there um, and then we have center staging as well so we can see this is center six and then on that side is center five four three two one so easy to find my plants but these here are looking lovely. This side, for the most part, uh, pretty much from there all the way up, those are chili chump peri peris and my Mars peri peris as well. Um, so yeah, just keeping them all sectioned here. I have a bunch more elsewhere, but these are some of my prize ones and we'll see how they go over the season. These are some plants that I've put aside that I will be doing some experiments with. So basically I've got a couple hydro setups that I'm going to be testing, some that I've developed that I may use in future seasons. I just need to test with these plants what sort of progress I can get. So I'll be kicking that off. I'm hoping this weekend if I have time, but maybe next weekend. And I will show you guys what my ideas are. But basically I'm going to try five different systems, uh, basic concepts that I've thought of, and uh, we'll see how they do. Over here are just a bunch of tomatoes. Uh, we'll be making some chili ketchup a little bit later in the season, but they're all doing very well. Down here, we have a tomatillo, uh, thanks to Kelly, who's one of my patrons. Uh, she introduced me to them. I've never had them before, and they taste awesome. So I'm growing a few tomatillo plants. This one here is probably my biggest. And then down here, if you've been watching my channel for any length of time, you'll know that I've always wanted to have some eggplants growing and I've never actually managed to get one. I've got a bunch of eggplants growing here. Uh, let's hope we actually get some eggplants off of them. Some more plants with some pods. We have a geodone mirasol. It's a new one to me. Uh, first time I'm growing it this year, but look at the size of that. Again, not ideal to have pods this size on a plant this small, but uh, I'll probably end up taking them off. I don't know, I just I want to see it uh, ripen, but we'll see how it goes. If it hinders the plant too much, then yeah, I'll be taking those off as well as any flowers. But now that they're in their final pots, I'm sure these will just start blowing up. Another one, though, we've got some very nice pods. So this section over here, this is all my sweet chilies, sweet peppers. Uh, over here we have a beaver dam. <laughs> It's a lovely little chili there. Sorry about the noise, if you can hear the greenhouse uh, making noises, it's all the, 
the wind that we have, it's crazy out there. Um, but yeah, this is the beaver dam. Lovely pods all over this thing. But I've noticed this plant has probably grown. So it, it was about there when we potted it up. But uh, you can see that it's got some height on it. But yeah, these are all my sweet peppers. And you expect sweet peppers, they have a shorter season typically. So, I mean, not a shorter season, they have a longer season. They, they start de developing fruit very quickly. Uh, you can see there, we've got some over there. We've got some here. These are, I think, frigatellos. These are sweet apple camby. And uh, they always come through quite quickly. They're very thick fleshed, very sweet. I actually just love the taste of them. Uh, but again, we need this plant to get bigger. So yeah, the sweet peppers are doing well. This one here is, uh, <laughs> that's a lovely size actually. And that there is number 67. Let's see what plant that is. Ahi mango. So actually this isn't a sweet chili. So <laughs> Mrs. Chili Chump was helping me out of these. She wasn't too sure about which ones were uh, sweet or not, but uh, she got them mostly right for the most part. Uh, but this one, yeah, this is not sweet. This has got a little bit of spice to it. Uh, these are just bell peppers, I think. There's another marigold. Need to water that. It's not looking very happy. So this shelf is kind of my prize shelf. This is where mostly they are chinens, so hots or super hots. I do have a small section where that big boy is over there, uh, where I have some very special prize plants, and I'll give you a sneak peek of them in just a bit. But these over here, we have some chocolate primatales. These two here. This one here is a golden primatale. Uh, that one back there, which is looking stunning and it looks like some fruits are coming through, is a seven pot bubblegum. So these are my seeds. So if you bought seven pot bubblegum from me this year, this is the plant basically. This is from the same stock of seeds that you guys would have bought. So. If you do want seeds, chilichumpseeds.com. Don't have a lot of stock right now, but plenty more a little bit later in the year. <laughs> but look how early this thing is. That's incredible. We've got chilies on this thing already, which is quite an achievement for a Chinens plant. But yeah, the seven pop bubblegum, really pleased with uh, the variety that I've been isolating here. But have a look. These are just beautiful. I love Chinens plants. I love the big, thick leaves. We can see there, it's loving this environment. Lots of the internodal growth there. This here is a Carolina Reaper. Uh, it's looking pretty healthy. A lot of growth coming through there. And this plant will get pretty massive. This here is a red Primo Tali. Very lovely growth on that as well. And lots of little flowers starting out. And what is this? Is this a Chinens? Paper Lantern. So it is a Chinens, but not a very hot one. Uh, 300,000 Scoville. But uh, that'll be a pretty looking plant. I think this is another one of my seven pot bubble gums. Let me check that. Now, this is a seven pot bubble gum yellow. And a uh, very strange little flowers starting out there. That's pretty cool. Yeah, lots of lovely growth. Just take a look. This is my kind of special section uh, in between that dripper line and uh, that dripper line. And you'd recognize this. This is the beast. I featured this in a couple of my update videos. And it's still growing. It's a fushimi. And uh, yeah, it's, it's just Bit of a genetic anomaly. There's nothing wrong with it. It's not sick or anything. It's not growing very massive. Uh, we'll see if it gets much bigger, but we've got some chilies on it. Uh, it's interesting. Got some stripy chilies. Interesting. Are you guys growing fashimi? Anybody? I know that one of my patrons is uh, AJ Lau. I know that he's growing these and he's having a similar thing, but yeah, these pods, that's quite interesting, a stripy pod. This is my pride and joy. This is my lemon peri, second generation. And I started obviously a lot sooner than January. Uh, I think it was about October time. And it's just beautiful. We can see it stabilized somewhat. I mean, there's still a few little interesting things going on with these leaves. But for the most part, it's far more stable than it was last year. 
Uh, we are getting some flowers coming through. I'm going to start isolating them so we can move on to the third generation. But this is my cross between a lemon drop and a peri-peri that I've been growing for the last, well, almost a decade, I think. And, uh, yeah, the flowers seem to have stabilized to five petals for the most part. There's a couple that are different, but mostly five petals. And, uh, yeah, I'm very happy with that plant. We'll move on to third generation as quickly as we can so we can start properly stabilizing it. Uh, there's a couple other crosses here. I won't talk too much about them just yet. Um, there are, <laughs> there's, there's two super hot crosses in amongst these and um, they are doing really well. This is the year that I get to see what the pods are going to look like. So fingers crossed we have something very interesting. Uh, that there is looking pretty. And all the rest of these here, there's nothing too interesting to show you just yet. It's still pretty early on. Uh, good growth. You can see things are just exploding with growth now that they're in their full-size pots and uh, we're watering properly and all that. These plants are going to just really take off. We'll see some excellent growth soon. You can see them stretching towards the sun because we haven't had a lot of sun lately. You can see them all moving there. That's south, so that's why they're pointing that direction. Uh, that won't be a problem a little bit later in the season when we do have more consistent sunshine, but I might, I might just turn these around just so we don't have a plant that grows in a, a strange direction. Uh, do the same with this one. It'll then pull back that way. Yeah, these are looking good. Uh, there's a couple that are yellowing on the leaves a bit, but I'm not too worried about that. The new growth that's coming through is good. Uh, a little bit of deficiencies because of how long they were in their last pots. This one was in a particularly small pot, so it was battling quite a bit. I don't like feeding until a little bit later in the season. I don't see the point. Uh, you don't want to train your plants to have feed all the time. And that's how I get the growth I get. Get them to use the soil as much as they can. Spread their roots as much as possible. And then you hit them hard with the feeding and they will just explode with growth. So that's Big Chump. Um, like I said, I just love coming in here and having a look at all these plants. It is delightful. I hope that your season is going amazingly and that you're making fantastic progress with your chili plants. If not, if you have any problems, if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer. I can't promise to answer every single comment that comes in on my channel, but I do promise you this. I still read absolutely every comment that you guys post on my videos. If you want to follow me on social media, I'm on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And uh, we also have a Chili Chomp Facebook group, so CCFB. Search that on Facebook and you'll find the group. There's a lot of like-minded Chili Chompers in there, great attitudes, a lot of friendly folks, and uh, they're sharing all the things that they're getting up to. Well, pretty much what I'm getting up to, growing, making sauces, uh, little projects, things like that. So go check that out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this episode and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Until then, stay spicy.